Hello everybody. I'm just showing you some of the handles that I put on some knives um, that I, I I don't make my blades, I buy them. Um, I don't have the equipment to make blades. But this first one is a Iseki uh, blade that I had bought. Um, it's I, I use quilted maple for the handle. I put two pins through the tang. And I didn't put a bolster on this one and I wish I would have. But well, for next time I will. But I thought it turned out quite nice. Uh, I, I, I love the quilted maple. It's a pretty wood. The next one I didn't buy this. Oh, I bought the blade at a, at a garage sale. Uh, it's a Schrade old timer and the handles were broken and the blade was real rusty so I put some quilted uh, um, excuse me bird's eye maple on it just to replace the handles turned out really nice cleaned it all up the next one is also a Isaki blade but I made this blade or handle I put a brass bolster on it which I repurposed from an old key. But I made the, the handle out of uh, stone and I don't remember the name of the stone and I used a gray epoxy and sandwiched the, the blade in between and then shaped the stone. And I put one pin through the tang. And then this one I made it out of tiger eye it's a stone and this one is just a uh, a letter opener so it's it's not a very good blade it just works fine I just wanted this is the first one that I ever tried making out of stone and I also sandwiched it in with a gray epoxy and then I didn't put no pins in the pins in this one I don't know if you can see that gray epoxy but anyways it's just a short video just showing what I've done with these. Now I just, for this blade and this blade, I have to make a sheath for. Thanks for watching.